Hi all, this is just a quick session to show you how to do some life drawing. Now, there's all sorts of different techniques that you can do with life drawing. And we're just going to be actually doing some modelling in class. But you need to understand, oh sorry, modelling in class and drawing the models that are actually posing for us. Um, but there is a basic schema that you actually need to use to be able to form your drawings. Now this isn't necessarily an art class as such, but what we're trying to look at is your basic observation to make sure you get it right so you can actually see what you're actually doing rather than um, just drawing what you think. You need to see and you need to actually work out how to do it. Life drawing is a great way to pick up those skills before we start moving on to product design and still lifes. Okay, so I'll grab my favorite magazine, Pole Oxygen. If you actually get a time, You'll find that there's some really great articles on design in here, but basically I just got to, to grab some pictures quickly to show you what we, what we can actually do. So, with the basic schema, what you're going to find is with a human figure, like this one, when I actually go to draw her, I'm actually looking at a couple of things. The first thing I actually want to locate, and it's the, and it's the same with all human bodies, I want to imagine where this spine is. So I know her spine is going to be running along this way. Okay. The next part I want to actually put in is the shoulders and then the hips. So basically once I've actually done this drawing, I can then start to come back in and hang meat off these bones. Okay, so now like yes, I know I'm actually cheating to do this drawing, I'm actually drawing over the top of it. But what I'm trying to do is just to give you a sense of what we're actually looking for when we're doing some of these live drawings and starting to form up our ideas. And like I said, it is the spine, shoulders and hips that we're actually looking for to do these drawings. Here's the next one. Again, like every other human being, she actually has a spine. She has shoulders and hips. Even this guy that looks a lot like me, he actually has, a, 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 behind his head, he's got a spine, and behind his body here, this little six-pack that he's got happening, it's actually got, like, hips and shoulders. So spine, shoulders, hips. It doesn't matter what you're actually looking at. Here's two kids. Spine, shoulders, hips, spine, shoulders, hips. So like every time we actually look at a drawing, that's what we're looking for. We do that basic schema so we can get the flow. And you can see here, this guy's shoulders are rounded, this one's a little bit more straight. We're actually observing where they are so then we can start hanging the meat off them. So let me show you what I actually mean. Here's a ballerina pose, quite a beautiful little image that's actually going and just say, I wish to actually draw it. So here, the first thing I'm going to do, and again, you'd actually work lightly at this stage. You don't want to actually have all the detail here, but I can see there's a spine, there's shoulders, and there's a hips under here somewhere. So I can see the head's actually got a tilt on it, comes down to the spine. Then we've actually got some hips here, and the shoulders, it actually starts straight and curves. Okay, so that's my basic outline. Now that I understand this shape, I can come back in and start to sketch. So here, and again, I'm only sketching. I can see that the head is sort of like an oval shape, and she's got quite a pronounced forehead. The nose is in here a little bit. This eye comes down a little bit. Here we've got this little eye. And I'm not going for detail at the moment. I'm actually just going for shapes. You can see the mouth is here. And then I'm working into the actual chin. Coming back, strong, beautiful jawline here. I'm just adding it in, and we've got an ear happening. The hair is flowing down this way, and then we've got a knot in the little hair. Now, you can see I'm a little bit out. Like, I've actually, here in this drawing that I've started to do, I, I've forgotten a little bit about the neck. So that's okay. I'm still using this as a shape, remember? And, like, I'm starting to sketch. I put the neck in. Here, I can actually see underneath where her neck actually starts to flow, and then she's got this ruffle effect underneath. All right. And there's a little bit of a cheekbone there too. Now, I'm not going to get hung up on this so much. 
Now I want to come in and like I'm going to just move my shoulders down here where I can actually see them. So this one here is actually round, comes down. And again, what I'm actually doing, I'm actually observing. I'm having a look and before I actually putting on any actual stroke, I'm just checking out to see where that body part is. So I can see there's a break here, comes into the thumb, quite elegantly long fingers here. We've got these ones down here and the thumb. So like I said, I'm basing everything off this actual shape. Like this one coming down here. Oh, look at this, see, this is where I'm turning into a real man. I'm actually trying to draw and talk at the same time and it's not working. My brain is going into overload. But you can actually see here, there's like the breast is forming there, got the skirt coming down. We've got some actual V frontage happening. And again, like I said, I'm just taking this and actually looking at what I'm actually doing. Is this the perfect drawing? Nah, it's not. But what I'm actually doing is I'm, I'm learning about observing and seeing where the ruffles are and trying to comprehend what I'm seeing. These exercises in life drawing, don't be mistaken, they're about observation. I can see here that, like I haven't done this face justice here, and I'd actually prefer to come back in and harden that up a little bit. So basically, like I said here, the idea with life drawing and what we're actually gonna be using it for in class is observation. You can see that little sketch took me oh, just a couple of minutes when I'm up to six minutes on this video, but there was a little bit of explanation. So a couple of minutes, and like I said, what we're actually doing is just observing where these bone structures are and how we're putting our pencil on paper, transferring what we see to what we actually do. Okay, so that's life drawing, and that's the actual skills that we actually use, and again, power of observation. Thanks for listening and I hope that you find this helpful and we'll start to use it in class. Thanks.